Just finished testing for round two of the U6LR versus the AX3600. And oh boy, there is a lot to talk about. So before we get into the nitty gritty, let's just look at the charts and then I'll explain everything later on after we look at the results. But right before that, please be sure to check out spxlabs.com forward slash shop and purchase some of the hardware that I've listed for sale that will directly support this channel. And of course, hopefully help you guys pick up some sweet deals. So first up is both settings, both radios are matched together. I matched the AX3600 to the U6LR. And I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to best optimize the U6LR. And these are the results that we got. So first up is the download speeds to fast.com. And as you can see here, both did pretty well, I would say. I, I would argue that some people would say that should be better. But for a one gig connection, I think this is pretty good. And uh, obviously here in blue, we have the U6LR pulling 490 megabits per second down, while the AX3600 only did 140 in this case. And then obviously in the 20 foot range, it did really well. And then when we got to 50 feet and 70 feet away, they did slightly worse. Moving on to upload speed, uh, as you can see here, uploading at the zero foot range was very strange. Uh, I did this test a few times uh, with my with my iPad to make sure that the upload wasn't messed up for some reason while staying directly underneath the U6LR, but it was pretty much always right around 60 megabits per second. So I just took the first test result of 62 megabits per second, which happened to be the best, and ran with that. The X3600 did pretty well while staying directly underneath the uh, access point as well, pulling 130 megabits per second uh, for the upload. Both did extremely well at the 20 foot range, which is to be expected uh, to get on that 2.4 gigahertz band at a distance. And both did, I would say, okay at 50 and the 70 foot range. Then finally, I went ahead and optimized the AX3600 to see if I could do better with its radios versus using the settings of the U6LR. And we did much, much, much better much better this time. Uh, obviously standing directly underneath the uh, AX3600, we pulled 790 megabits per second down and did an upload of 650 megabits per second, which is a huge different than, difference than what I just showed you uh, a couple slides ago. And then the 20 foot range did pretty well and the 50 foot range did really well. And I would say the 70 foot uh, test did really well as well. Now let's go ahead and talk about uh, iperf. So I ran iperf test again with matched radios, unmatched radios, and yeah, and that's it. So before I was doing, you know, testing an actual uh, video file or what a large file being moved between the Mac Mini and um, my gaming PC with fast NVMe drives. No, not everyone liked that uh, that real world test. So I'm using iperf this iperf this time between the Mac Mini and the uh, gaming computer. So uh, Mac Mini is on Wi-Fi, obviously, and the gaming computer is on a wired network. And while I did these tests, I just cycled the hardware out. And we'll get into more detail of what that exactly that means. For the U6LR, uh, sending and receiving, I did 272 megabits per second, which I would say is really good on a one gig connection. And then uh, also the AX3600 did 293 sending and receiving megabits per second, of course. And those, remember that's with matched radios, then with unmatched radios, as in the AX3600 optimized, um, iPerf showed us that we were getting 288 megabits per second sending and receiving between the Mac mini and the gaming computer. So I'm not 100% sure to make of what to make of that. Uh, to me, that says it's really good. Maybe you guys that are more familiar with iPerf um, probably have a lot better idea of what those numbers mean. Uh, now, I did do a real world test on my own and I would say I was pretty happy with the results on both sides. Not any major differences there. All right, let's talk about these radio settings because this is where it's gonna get kind of crazy. So with the U6LR, uh, I use that as my daily driver in the house. So when I optimize that, I optimize that for pretty much every room and spot in the house except for directly underneath it because we're pretty much never gonna be directly underneath the access point anyway. So I took my iPad, I took both my wife's phone, my phone, her MacBook Pro, my kid's iPad, and I did way more speed tests than I would like to admit. 
in the living room, in the kitchen, and in the dining room, just like all over there, like each little seat, maybe not each seat, but multiple seats in on the dining room table. Did it in my office, did it in my kid's room, did it in my wife's office in a couple different places where she likes to sit. And then I did it all over the master bedroom in places that we like to like either lay or sit or stand wherever we are in there. So the results I would say for the U6L are may seem pretty underwhelming at the zero foot range, pretty okay at the 20 foot range. And then, you know, 50 was pretty underwhelming and 70 was pretty underwhelming. But I promise you in different spots around the house, it is much better now that it's optimized for this house. Now the AX3600 didn't seem to like the settings available or those radio settings uh, that the U6LR was using. And so what are the U6LR radio settings that I have set up? So the 2.4 gigahertz band is set to a channel of three because that is pretty much unused around me. I don't see any more or a lot of Wi-Fi networks on channels three, 11, and I don't know, several others. So I chose three, I gave it a power of 23 and it is on a bandwidth of 40. And for the five gigahertz band, I chose 80, which the only iPad that's affected is my kids much, much older, probably generation two iPad. I don't even know that's how old it is, but he's mostly on two gigahertz band anyway, because he's never directly underneath the uh, access point anyway. So the radio settings there, uh, the bandwidth is 80, the channel is on 36, and the transmission power is 26. So I went ahead and made the AX3600 the same as that. Then we did, I did all the same tests that I just showed you, and those are the results we got. Now, when I went to optimize the AX3600 a little bit all over the house and reran those tests, uh, I changed a few settings so the radio's bandwidth was on 20 megahertz or whatever. And I was on channel 11 because that was another channel that was free and clear. And the power is actually able to go to 26 versus 23 on the U6LR. So I just cranked it to max, did really good. And for the five gigahertz band, I went ahead and stuck it in the uh, 40 hertz range or megahertz range. I went on channel 40 and then also went to a transmission power of 26. I spent way more time than I thought I would trying to figure out the best radio settings. Now for fun, I have actually modified the U6LR uh, to get as close as possible to the AX3600 uh, settings and I repeated those speed tests and I got some interesting results. Sitting directly underneath the U6LR with the uh, radio frequencies changed to 20 megahertz on the 2.4 gigahertz band and 40 megahertz on the five gigahertz band. Um, I got 360 megabits per second down and 380 megabits per second up, uh, of course, using fast.com. And, uh, and the other results at the 20 foot range was 310 megabits per second down and 320 up. Then at the 50 foot was 240 megabits per second and then 110 up and finally that's and finally i got 210 megabits per second down and only 44 up which was kind of odd so obviously there's some room to to improve the 6 lr for this specific test that i did at those different ranges but uh i'm probably going to flip back to what i had originally um, because with the band settings the way they are some of the other rooms as there's like more walls that need to be penetrated don't do nearly as well or the speeds drop off a lot. So I will be switching back to the original settings I found uh, and showed you at the beginning of this video. And I don't really know what else that needs to be said for this video. Obviously this wasn't an exact science test. I could have changed the method or testing methodology a little bit to maybe to improve it to show better results. And I would say this was kind of like lazy testing, but honestly, in this household, I think both are pretty representative in the sense that they both did really well. And in fact, I don't think you could go wrong with either. I think it comes down to personal preference and you know what looks better to you. Now, my wife doesn't really like the look of TP-Link's AX3600 on the ceiling. 
She prefers Ubiquity's line. I'm indifferent. I think both look good and I could have either or in my ceiling or on my ceiling and I don't care. Now the only one that I would say has any advantage is the AX3600 because it has a 2.5 gigabit uh, NIC on board where the U6LR only has one gigabit. So I don't know if there's any real advantage there. That's not something I can test because I don't have a switch from TP-Link um, that can actually you know, get me beyond one gigabit at this time. But does that matter? I don't know. At home? No, probably not. But I'd like to test it anyway and find out. So I guess thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Here's.